everybody. My name is Kaiserman. For your entertainment today, we have 2021 Opeachy. Uh, definitely a lower end product, obviously, but can't really have hockey cards without the Opeachy name. I mean, it's just synonymous um, with the hockey brand, uh, but quality has never always been there. Uh, case in point, if you can find a really good quality rookie card from back in the 70s, not. Nah, goes for a pretty penny. Case in point is the Wayne Gretzky rookie card. Uh, what was it, a 10? Yeah, I think it was a 10. Just sold for over a million dollars. But, uh, yeah. So, Opeachy, it's always been kind of a lower quality product. But if you can get a good quality card out of it back in the day, hey, you made bank. Um, but what can we expect in this one? Well, there's Opeachy Premier Tall Boys. There's playing cards. There's uh, manufactured patches and so on uh, different little small little stuff nothing too crazy uh, definitely the playing cards are probably going to be the highlight when we get them and uh, so yeah guys why don't we just get right on into it now when I recorded this uh, I actually hit that nice little record button while I was opening up packs and a few packs got open but I will do a real quick recap uh, of what I had gotten up to that point uh, one of which was actually probably my biggest one of my bigger uh, pulls so go figure on that one so anyways guys let's get right into it 2021 opichi let's take a look so uh let me just do the quick run cap of what we got we actually did get something pretty darn good and that was if you didn't see it lying there while i press record uh alex Venchkin, ace of diamonds playing card yeah the, that's a uh, uh, one out of 160 packs, so it's got to be a case hit. So that's really good. That's, that was cool. Um, the Henrik Lundqvist, tall boy. Uh, we just got in the last one, um, Marky Legends, uh, Nick Lidstrom. That was a couple packs ago. Patrick Kane, 1,000th uh, career point, season highlight. And then we got a blue... Anthony D'Angelo and a red James Neal. So we're in, I want to say only the third or fourth pack before I realized it. So we didn't really see that much. Of, um, didn't really miss that much, thankfully. Okay, so we got Eric Johnson here. Uh, Oscar Sungfist, Jesper Bockfist. Nick Suzuki, second year. John Carlson. Peter Morazic. Redem Simek. Got yeah, tile boy, Tyler Sagan. All right, so nice tall boy, Tyler Sagan. We got Hurdle the Turtle, Thomas Hurdle. The wow, the retro. So flimsy. That looks like a All Star, St. Louis thing. So there's always that. It's a short print or not, but that's kind of cool. We're just showing these All Star, and we got our first marquee rookie of Liam Fowdy. Where's that? That's one thirty alone. And I can't stand the wrapping. I almost feel like I need scissors or something. All right, so we got Kirby Doc, Zach Parise. Oh, good. I'm glad I recorded for this. The Party Boy, Evgeny Kuznetsov. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, man, something went up my nose. I'm sorry. Oh, Yeah, there we go. Kenny Kuznetsov, uh, party boy. There you go. Mm, sweet, sweet candy. <laughs> Such an idiot. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Huberto, Jonas Brodeen, Nazem Kadri, Matthias Ekholm, Mitch Marner. We got a blue of Trevor Daly, now retired. And, uh... A retro of Anthony Mantha. Oh, oh my God! I really, I really need to figure out something better for that. I'm glad I'm not open too much of this product this year. Okay, so it looks like we got a retro and looks like another checklist. So I'm just gonna do a checklist first. Here's a regular base team checklist, so that's kind of cool. Vancouver. Got Jeff Carter, Steven Samkos, Oscar Lindblom. Good thing. Uh, Got better and healthy. Was able to play in the playoffs. That's really cool. Claude Giroux. Nikita Gusev. Martin Nikas. Nick Schmaltz. Ricard Raquel. 
And Yurislav Halak Retro. Yeah, let's open this. Open this up, kid. Hello, kitty. And you're rubbing up against me. Okay. So we got Victor Hedman, uh, Brian Rust, Matthew Perel, Dylan Dubé, Derek Grant, Kevin Shattenkirk, Alexander Rajalov, uh, Jonas Donskoy, Kevin Shattenkirk, Retro, and a marquee legend, Mike Modano. So there we go, marquee legend. All right. Next pack. 2021 Opeachy. The most difficult packs to open. Oh my God. It's not rocket science, but it feels, sure feels like it. Okay, so we, it looks like we got... Oh, and a playing card. Oh, boy. All right, so we got Morgan Riley, Tyson Berry, Robin Leonard, Linus Hallmark feels familiar. I think I had a retro of that. So Linus Hallmark. Brayden Holtby. We got Elvis, second year. All right, so we got a retro of P.K. Subban. A blue, Travis Sandheim. Oh. Devon Taze. Looks like a black. Serial to 100. Black. Looks like a black retro uh, variant. Devin Taze. Serialized card. That's actually really cool. Where are my openings? There we are. It's a brand new sleeve. So. so that'll be a sleeve approval. Devin Taze. 20 points and 68. So not a decent player. Obviously not uh, the other Taves. And uh, the other thing here too. We got another card. Mitch Marner, four of spades. So there we go. Another playing card. Those are kind of cool. Those are like almost worth it. I mean, it's a cheap product. Try to get a set of that. Although by the time how much you probably buy a box, you can just wait for someone to actually take the time to collect them and just buy them all at once. Save yourself trouble if that's all you're going for. Oh, looks like we have a Platinum Premier and a Marquee Rookie and a King. Oh, okay. Let's just show everything. You guys remember what I had? Is this your card? <laughs> oh, man, I'm, I'm really bad today. Charlie, or tonight, Charlie McAvoy, David Riddich, Blake Coleman, John Tavares, Dante Fabro, Jimmy Howard, and we have an Opeachy Platinum Preview. With Austin Matthews here, that's actually not a bad preview. Yeah, preview Austin Matthews. So that's actually probably pretty good. There we go. And then we got a retro. Oh, we got a team checklist of uh, Montreal. I'm just going to pop that over. We have a marquee rookie of Jansen Harkins. So well, I'll put all of those together. And... We have another playing card, King of Hearts, Patrick Kane. So there we go, that's not a bad one either. Alright, so we got three playing cards. It's probably about how many we should be getting. So we got them all right at the beginning. I don't think we need to look at the other box. Oh. Let's see if we get anything else here. Um, oh my god. What in the heck? What are you guys doing over there, Opeachy? Oh my god. So, you know, I'm just going to go through it because I'm. It's so weird how they have everything plopped. So, Nikita Zaitsev, Alexander Barkov, uh, Denis Garanov, Christian Dvorak, and a Charlie McAvoy retro, and Marquee Rookie of Alexander. Yellison. Then we got Thomas Hurdle, Ryan Reeves, Alex Debrinkit, and Giovanni Smith. Oh, we got a thick card here. Really thick card. Alright, so we got an Alex Tuck Tro. We got James Schwartz, Henrik Lundquist, Kyle Connor. 
Jumbo Joe reaches 1,600 games played, and we have something from the Islanders. Oh, my God. Trophy winners. Oh, my God. Robin Leonard. What? Oh, my God. This is actually pretty cool. Trophy winners. Robin Leonard. Bill Masterson trophy. That is really... You have received a train card with a manufactured hockey patch. Enjoy your memorabilia card. That's kind of... That actually feels very weird. Um, so yeah, there, oh, I mean, that's pretty darn good. I uh, wasn't expecting that from Opeachy, but, uh, yeah, uh, it's a better protection. So there we go. Trophy winner patch. Uh, not serialized or anything. So I don't know. I'm not going to look it up. That it looks like you can't even read what's on the back here. I might look it up and see exactly what the odds are for it and put it up when I get it. So, uh, so as I said, I'm just going to go through uh, Patrick Maroon, Carl Haglin, Joel Erickson Eck, Robbie Fabry. Oh, nice. Got a Jack Eichel tall boy. That's pretty sweet for me. I will take that. Jack Eichel tall boy. Got a Brain Shen Retro. And look, a Buffalo Sabres checklist. That's pretty cool. Uh, some Most of these guys aren't on the team anymore. Um, yeah, not him. Um, not him. Oh, what else did we do? Uh, yeah, no. Um, yeah, no. Oh, that's too funny. Uh, Philip Ronak. Rasmus for Salinen. And just for Faust. All right, final side, Ro Peachy. I made a big boo boo. Oh, I'm probably I mean, after I record this, I might just call it a night, and I'm just not in it today for some reason or tonight. Yeah, okay. Nick Letty, Jimmy VC. Speaking of Sabers that aren't around, went to Toronto. I want to say Carter Rowney. Nicholas Yarmelson, Brendan Lemieux, Cody Cece, there's Andre Svechnikov, retro, and we got an Alexander Steen, blue, no, uh, Marcus Sorensen, and there's our uh, newest saber, Taylor Hall. <coughs> oh, yeah, excuse me. I don't mean to burp on camera, but man, when you got to. Uh, St. Louis Blues checklist. Tanner Pearson. John Merrill. Mark Sheffley. Brandon Carlo. Nick Jensen. Dylan Strom. Cam Atkinson. Anders Lee and a Marky rookie. of Nikolai. Nice. Uh, buy a vowel. God, guys. All right, only a few more packs left of this god awful product. Hard to open. Got some decent pulls. I mean, not too shabby, I don't think. I mean, I you know, I don't know the values off the top of my head, but uh, let's see, got a marquee rookie in here. Got Darcy Kumper, Ryan Strom, Josh Manson, Drew Doughty, Austin Wagner, Connor Sheary, Nathan Beaulieu, Cal Clutterbuck, Retro, Ryan Rees, and a marquee rookie of Tyler Benson. All right, so we have, well, looks like we have something special here. Let's put the retro in front. So this is Corey Perry. Looks like we have another black. Dominic Kubelik. Uh, Warren Fogel. Jonathan Bernie. Rasmus Sandin. Shane Gustaspear. Ghost. Nicholas Backstrom. Anthony D'Angelo. Casey Sikis. Blue. And... Oh, wow. Patrick Kane Black, All-Star, Serial to 100. That's actually really cool. All right. We get two of these in the whole box? That's crazy. Patrick Kane's definitely a good, solid name there. All right. 
So we're getting to the end here. It looks like we got another playing card. We got Brock Nelson. We got Samuel Blass. Andre Vasilevsky. Blake Lazat. Dougie Hamilton. Anthony Sorelli. Got Seth Jones, tall boy. There we go. Phil the Thrill. Kessel. A league leaders and save percentage. Anton Huboden. Hudobin. And the Jack of Clubs, Elias Peterson. All right. There we go. So we got ourselves, wait a minute. So we kind of broke the uh, odds here. They're one out of five. And I end up getting four of these, one of which was an ace. So uh, I'll take it. All right. So last pack, 2021. All right. Let's see. So, yeah. Not expecting much left. Connor Brown, Matt Grizzlick, Alex Neenander, Rocco Grimaldi, Miles Wood, got Colton Perrieco, Sean Monahan, newly acquired Saber, Eric Stahl, Retro, Brain Holtby, and Marquee Legend of Grant Fuhr. It's awesome. There we go. He legend, Grant Fuhr. All right, guys. So there you guys have it. That is 2021 Opeachy Hockey, and the product is so bad. <laughs> I mean, the playing cards are really nice. It's probably like their best cards that are put into this product. The patch is okay, but it's a manufactured patch. It's nothing really that special, but it's still a cool little insert. Other than that, it, uh, I mean, the base cards, they had the black and white backing. Just seems so bleh. And then the retros, they were so flimsy. They just felt like I could easily just bend them up and destroy them. I mean, it's just, ugh. And then don't get me started with the packs. Those, ugh, those packs are so hard to open. Um, with that being said, I probably wouldn't get Opeachy again. Um, if I wanted to get collect anything, it would be the playing cards, which I may actually go look for um, just to have them. Uh, those are probably the coolest things to get. Other than that, I I mean, if I could get a box for free or for really cheap or something like that, I might consider it. But even then, if I'm going to go for a lower-end product, I'd rather go with MVP. I think MVP has a little bit better potential to it than OPG, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Uh, but as far as a grade, I, I'm going to have to put this down to like a D. I think it only saves itself from being a total failure because of the nice playing cards um, and the low price. I mean, it, it, you can't sit there and say, I want to just open some packs, but I don't want to break the bank. And I don't, I can't get MVP. There, there you go. So there's a little bit of positive um but as far as any of that other stuff concerned uh i would stay away from a peachy i would go for mvp uh and that's pretty much what my saying is so uh thank you guys so much for watching now i have i know it's been a little while since i've recorded anything uh or actually put up a video it's you know just things and stuff so yeah but i'm back in the saddle thankfully and just getting a little more motivated so uh yeah so there's 2021 peachy let me know in the comment section what you thought uh make sure you hit the like button to like this video and smash that subscribe button as well uh remember i am still planning the 150 subscribers we will reveal a new uh giveaway and uh at 200 we will officially give it away um what that will be who knows uh at this point i'm not too sure but once we get 150 subs you will see what you can get so if you haven't subscribed already go ahead hit that subscribe button so anyways guys thank you so much for watching uh, as always my name is cashman for your entertainment this was a disappointing 2021 opg hockey hobby box and uh i'm back I hope you guys enjoyed the wonderful rest of your day.